Hi there. Today I wanted to talk to you about this thing here, which is the Microsoft Surface Pro 3 pen. It's the same pen that you would find on the Surface 3, but it's different to the pens that came with the Surface Pro 1 and Surface Pro 2 models. So the pen itself is made by a company called Entrig, and Microsoft recently bought Entrig. But Entrig's actually been around for a long time. For example, this pen here that I have is a, an Entrig pen from a Motion CL900 from around about 2010. The last iteration of the Entrig pen from Surface is by far the best that we've ever seen. It's a very smart pen, and I want to talk to you now about some of its features and explain how it works. Now, as I mentioned before, Entrig pens have been around for a long time, but one of the reasons that they were never really preferred by tablet aficionados over the Wacom equivalents was this pen tip here. You can see on this old CL900 pen, the tip there is quite a bit bigger, thicker, and clunkier than the new Surface Pro 3 pen. And if I tap this pen on the screen here, you'll hear that sound. So if you were writing on a tablet, you'd be getting that sound constantly off of the pen. Now we compare that to the new Surface Pro 3 pen, and you'll see here that there's quite a, a much duller sound to it. In fact, if you're doing some pretty heavy writing there, you're not going to hear a, a lot compared to the old style Intrig pen. It's a fair bit more elegant in its implementation, as you can see there, and it feels much better on the screen as well. There's a bit more of a plasticky or rubberized feel to the pen tip. It's a little less viscous on the screen, and so it tends to write, it tends to feel a lot better when you're writing. Um, this one here is a Fujitsu pen that came out with the Q702 just before the Surface Pro 3 arrived, and you can see that it had the two button style, and it also had a much better pen tip than the earlier versions of Entrig. Um, so it was probably in many ways the forerunner to what we have with the Surface Pro 3 pen. What I want to do now though, is pull apart this old Entrig pen from Motion. I'm going to show you what's inside of this pen. I'm going to take the electronics out. now. There's the electronics out, and I've just going to drop the little button point out of the pen there. This is what's actually inside the Entrig pen, and it's exactly what's inside the current model Entrig pen with the Surface Pro 3. So you can see we've basically got a little electronic circuit board there. We've got our little button actuator on the side. This is what makes the pen work. So it is an electronic device. In this case, with the Entrig pen, it is actually powered up by... I'm just going to take the pen tip out of that one. It's actually powered up by the battery that sits inside the barrel there. And you can see here, this is the actual tip actuator, the little spring there that measures the pressure sensitivity. But on this pen, as opposed to the Wacom pen, because it's actually powered itself, this is a Wacom pen over here, you can see that the Wacom pen has a little copper coil on the end that reads in the power off the screen. Well, instead of receiving and sending signals that way, the Entrig pen doesn't need to do that. And I think as a result of that different technology, you'll generally find that the Entrig pens are a little bit more accurate. Their um, accuracy or their calibration on screen is a fair bit better than what we get with Wacom. We don't get that tip variation and drift that we do on the Wacom pen. I'm just going to take the end of the pen off of the old CL900 Entrig pen and you'll see the similarities between this and the the new Surface pen when I pull that apart in a minute. That's the tip out there you can see it's really just a conductor for the battery and the battery is just here this is a 4A battery. Um, relatively easy to get although not common in your local grocery store or supermarket the uh, 4A pen, you can order it online, you can generally get them fairly cheaply in a two-pack. But that pen, that battery there actually powers up the pen, that's what gives it its power. What you'll find on these Entrig pens is that the battery should last anywhere between three to six months. I've seen them last even up to 12 months on occasions, but it is handy to have a supply of those in your bag just in case your pen ever does go flat there. So that's the barrel there of the Entrig pen. That's the full breakdown. So we've got the barrel, we've got the tip, 
we've got the electronics, we've got a pen tip there, and we've got the cover for the pen tip as well as the button. Another really cool innovation that Microsoft did with the Surface Pro 3, and of course now with the Surface 3 as well, is that rather than just making this tip, this uh, the back of the pen here, just a, a cap, what they did is they said, let's do something special with this, right? And instead of just being a tip, they made the tip into a Bluetooth button. Now this is actually a separate device to the actual pen. The pen itself would work if I put this um, this motion cap back on the top, which would probably fit, look at that, it does. Uh, the pen would work just like a normal entry pen does. But with this device on the end, there is actually a couple of batteries just inside of this one. There's a couple of watch batteries just down in there. You can get a screwdriver in and undo that. And this is actually a Bluetooth button. This is all it is. Uh, basically, when I press this button, it'll connect to my computer via Bluetooth. And there you go. In the background there, OneNote has started up. And, uh, and that's just simply this little Bluetooth radio inside of here talking to the tablet and waking it up. So that's a completely separate device. Again, a very simple innovation. What Microsoft were trying to do with this pen, with this little Bluetooth button on the end of the pen, was to give you an experience that is much closer to pen and paper. One of the big issues when you want to do lots of work writing in a digital format is that you've always got to wake up the tablet and turn it on and log in and all that sort of stuff. Well, with the Surface, one of the best features about it is that you don't have to do that. And that's due to that simple innovation of that button on the pen cap there. Now, coming back to the pen itself and looking at the pen tip experience, um, you can see that the cursor lines up pretty well with the Surface Pen. It's never going to be perfect. These digitizer systems never are. But using my little right click button there, I can just erase what I've done there. This is how it works. This is how it writes. It's pretty clever technology. As you can see, the cursor moves around on the screen without me touching the screen. That's why this is called an active digitizer rather than just a dumb stylus, right? Something that you would use on an iPad or a touch tablet only is really just designed to mimic your finger. But this is actually an active pen. It's sending a signal to the tablet without you even touching the tablet. And you'll see with the Entrick pen, the proximity is around about one centimeter. As I pull the pen away, the cursor stops moving, disappears. As I put the pen back closer, it becomes active again, it turns on. As I put the pen down, we're inking in this case, but we can use the pen like a mouse as a substitute for a mouse. We've got a right click button there on the side, we've got an eraser button there, so we just toggle between those depending on what function we want to use for the pen, and we scribble away on it. The pen itself has 256 levels of pressure sensitivity. So I'm just going to log in here just so that I can show you that. Um, I'm going to get a thick pen here in OneNote and just demonstrate that. So as I press softly and hard, you'll see that the thickness of the line changes. Softly, hard, there we go. So it's a pretty smart device. And then if I use the right click button just here, to tap the screen, you'll see I get a right click menu up. So I just hold that button down, you'll see a circle comes up around the cursor, I tap the screen and that's a right click. Now being an active digitizer, one of the other clever things that the Surface Pen does um, is that it turns touch off when it's in range of the screen. So you'll see here, I'm going to just pull the pen back a bit so it's out of range. Alright, touch is on, I can move things around by touching the screen here. But as soon as that pen becomes back into range there, it stops responding to touch. So fingers won't work against the pen. The pen takes precedence. So if I was leaning on the screen and resting my hand on the screen to write, you can see how the Surface Pen works really well for that because it's not going to respond to touch and touch is not going to interfere with the action of the pen. So as you can see, it's a really intelligent system, an active digitizer. And the implementation now of this Entrick Pen has really improved compared to what it was back in 2007 in those early days, even back to uh, perhaps 2011, 2012, the implementation of the entry pen was still a little bit behind, it was still a little bit poor. My, what Microsoft and the Surface team have done is they've really pulled the experience of writing with the entry pen forward um, to the point where it's actually in many ways superior even to using the Wacom pen system now. 
And that's a pretty big technology leap because Wacom has been in the market for over 30 years and really has always been the technology leader. So I hope you enjoyed that uh, little technical review there of the Surface Pro 3 pen. But uh, as a little parting gift, what I'm going to do, I don't normally do this, but I'm going to do an unboxing here for you today. This is a new Surface 3 and Surface Pro 3 pen. You can see it there. Um, it's one of the uh, the colored ones. It's a blue one to go with the, the new Surface 3 keyboard. So I'm going to open that up and show you what's inside it. There has been a little bit of a change to the product packaging because on the previous models on the Surface Pro 3, the pen loop for your keyboard or to, to attach your pen onto the Surface used to come with the uh, Surface keyboard, so the, the touch cover, or the type cover. So you can see here it comes with that 4A battery. I'm going to try and get the product packaging apart without destroying it completely. Here it is. This is the brand new blue version of this pen. There's also a red and a black version. There it is, and uh, I'm going to pop the new pen in it. Sorry, the new battery inside of that. When I'm setting up my pen, I normally just pull this little tag inside of it off. just because I know what it is and I know what it does already. Put the box away there. Screw the pen tip on. Oh, nervous hands, there we go. And what you'll see, of course, is that the pens are interchangeable. So, Surface Pro 3 pen, the Surface 3 pen, they're all the same technology. Even the old um, Fujitsu pen here, or the Motion pen that I've pulled apart there, will work and they are fully interchangeable. So if you had a tablet like the Fujitsu Q702, for example, you could go and use one of the new Surface pens with that, but vice versa. If you happen to have a two-button Fujitsu pen like this one here, it will still work with the Surface as well. So that's pretty cool. The new Surface 3 pen and the Pro 3 pen, the blue one, Thanks for watching.